Hi, welcome to this week's edition of your Brush with the Highlands for the weekend, May 20 and 21. Now behind me is a um, portrait I did uh, for the Archibald in 2008, but I'll, I'll talk to you later about that after I tell you what's going on in the Highlands. Because this week at 10,000 paces, Emma Harvey opened an exhibition. I went down and here's an interview with Hamish and Emma. Emma, what an absolute pleasure to get your exhibition up on the wall. It is a beautiful, vibrant explosion of colour. It, it is such a joy to see. Um, now, the, the title of the exhibition, uh, Flourishing, where, where did that come from? Oh, well, as you say, Hamish, it's, uh, it's a real expression of, of joy, the joy that I get from painting, uh, from producing the works of art. And, uh, you know, when I paint, I really do feel that it is something uh, flourishing and beautiful. Uh, florals, of course, you can see. Uh, and I thought it was a good expression of, of the work itself. Oh, look, thank you so much. Look, um, we're up for, a uh, for three weeks, this exhibition. And the, your connection with the local region, with the Southern Highlands, um, you're, you're a local girl originally, or the family was, is that right? Yes, that's right. The family uh, were all from this region. Uh, both sets of grandparents grew up here and my parents met here. We still have um, a lovely local um, connection, a small farm in, in Exeter which the family gather at uh, for functions and I did actually produce a lot of the work there on the veranda. It was very peaceful and beautiful and I find it a really wonderful place to paint. Oh look, that's wonderful. Look, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to having the show up for three weeks in the exhibition at 10,000 Paces Gallery and we look forward to hearing from you. We've also got an artist talk. Um, all the information is on our Facebook page and at 10,000 Paces and you can get all the information. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. At the same time, Through Our Eyes opened at, at uh, Barrel Art Gallery uh, with Hetty Thompson and Susan Curtin. Here's, here's the opening. Hi, I'm Hetty Thompson. And I'm Susan Curtin, and we're here at Barrel Art Gallery. And we're having our exhibition through our eyes at the moment, which is running till Tuesday the 16th of May at 4pm. We'd love to see you here. All welcome. Now, Harry, this magnificent exhibition uh, only runs till Thursday the 16th. Then, still a Barrel Art Gallery, from May 18 to 23, a new exhibition called Light, by local artists Anne Carney and Joan Blumenthal. Uh, this exhibition will officially open on May 20 at 2 p.m. with um, and with the artists. So come along. At Wombat Hollow, coming up this Saturday, there is a twilight concert called Monet: The Flowers of War, 1918. Uh, there, there is pre-dinner drinks at 6.30 and um, a supper at 8.30. So there is a cost of $95 per person. But here's what Michael Yapsley um, had to say about it. We have on Saturday week, um, which is the 20th of May, we have what I know will be a really beautiful concert, a chamber music concert, uh, led by Jane Rutter, the internationally yep. acclaimed yep. flautist who spends probably most of her time overseas. Um, but she's got a bit of a soft spot for Wombat Hollow, so she's making a return trip Good here. Stuff. And it's called, the concert is called Monet, The Flowers of yep, War, right. 1918. And as the, 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 the concert will also present simultaneously with the music, the, um, the, the overheads or the... Or Coming the, up and save the date. Again at Wombat Hollow, this is not to be missed. Uh, a free speech forum with Mark Latham and Alan Jones. All right. This is on Saturday, 28th of May, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with a barbecue lunch in the grounds of Wombat Hollow. Now, well, that's my brush with the Highlands, but now back to this portrait, which I see there, I'll give you a good look at it. There, there it is there. Uh, it's of Richard Palfreyman, who I painted for the Archibald in 2008. Uh, he was a radio presenter on the ABC, a very uh, close friend and colleague of uh, Mark Colvin, who, we sa who sadly 
passed away last week. Uh, but I painted Richard as a reflection in the water. He loved the water. He sailed and fished and everything like that uh, when he was off here. <laughs> and um, I wanted to keep that uh, mystique of, uh, of visual identity with the radio announcer. And uh, hence I painted only the reflection in his water and upside down. I think when they judged in the Archibald, they had it the other way and thought, what a strange portrait. But uh, anyway, I enjoyed painting it and we had a lot of fun with it. Okay, now if you want to commission a portrait, there are my details there. Telephone 0408 216 578. Um, and remember, while ever I, I've got brush on my, uh, I've got paint on my brush, you're having a good day.